Tell I know most of you guys in church praising the Lord right now, but um, check this out. Beautiful. What's up, Lena? Beautiful ocean. I uh, got a nice little private pool here. Here in the waters as I sleep. Um, this is the patio, blah, blah, blah. You know how we do it. You know, this is not unusual for Western version, but I'm showing this, guys. Because um, what I want to teach you today, um, check out the room. What's up, Gary? Michael, what's up? Um, you know, this is all real stuff. This is real life, baby. But um, check this out. You know, I was talking to a group of millionaires last night, very successful people, you know. Um, um, just, you know, I'm really grateful just to be around these type of people that I get the opportunity to chat with them and learn with them. I mean, most of these people are very successful, more successful than me. You know, I'm always trying to be around different people and just to see how they think, you know, they're doing things. I, I talked to a friend last night and he said he acquired a company, internet company for like, a half a million bucks. I'm like, damn. I don't know if I would spend a half a million dollars <laughs> right on the company, but you know, it just allowed me to just think differently um, about some of the things that I'm doing and the wealth and the businesses that I'm creating and um, just the mindset, guys. What's up, Jay? Jeff, Brittany, you guys are on today, huh? You guys not in church, huh? Good. Don't go to church. I'm just kidding. But, um, Today I want to talk about something about my jail experience, guys. I've been to jail, I've been to prison. Now not prison, but I've been to jail, you know. I've never um, told this story. I think I've told this story before, but I'm going to show you. You know, last night I was talking to someone, and I said, you know, we all talking. We said, you know, why don't people, um, you know, one of my friends said he has like a $300 million company right now, and he was like, you know, some people just, you know, the people that are trying to pursue success, he said, some people just don't get it. He was like, man, you either got it or you don't. And, you know, it doesn't matter how much you can teach, motivate, give people books, coach them. Um, they just never get it. And I was thinking about myself. I said, well, why, why was I different? You know, I'm always thinking in my mind because I never grew up rich. You know, based on my situation, um, this type of life, Absolutely not, guys. Absolutely not. Um, you know, I'm the youngest guy here. I think I'm the youngest guy here. I don't know. Um, everybody here is, you know, a lot of people married. They have wives and stuff like that. And I'm just a single guy that just has all this drive. And I'm grateful to be here. And but I'm thinking, you know, what? What's up, Sweet Low? What's up, Demon? What's up, guys? Please, you know, before we get started, guys, please share this video out. Please like it because... Um, I think this video is going to be one of the best videos I've ever done. I'm telling you because I'm going to tell you about my experience in jail. You know, it's kind of emotional. I hope I don't cry. But I think that helped me. I swear to God, I think it helped me. And I think a lot of people, they're scared to do this. Um, but I think giving you this, it's going to help you break that barrier. Okay? I think it's going to really help you break that barrier because, you know, a lot of things that we believe that we're trying to figure out, we have to work on ourselves, And it's all that shit that's going on in our mind that fucks us up, that keeps us creating this type of lifestyle. Let me show you. Look at it, isn't this beautiful? I mean, just imagine getting up in the morning, right? And I'm getting out of this bed, beautiful bed here, beautiful room, and I look to the right, I slept with my doors open, I hear the ocean. I don't know if it's the Caribbean or Atlantic Ocean something. And I hear the ocean beating across the rocks. You know, it's a Sunday, right? It's Sunday. I'm going to be here till like Wednesday. You know, I don't have to worry about work. I don't have to worry about like any responsibilities. I don't have to worry about, oh, I need to help me get back to Houston. No, I don't have to do that. Um, I'm just out here enjoying Dominican Republic, right? Don't have a worry in the world. And I think, you know, most people, almost everybody in my opinion, this is what they want, guys. So what I want to do is give you my two cents today and make sure you share this video out. I really appreciate that and like it. Um, the Wesley Virgin brand is building and um, it's all because of you. It's because of your likes and your shares and your um, interest in me. Like I'm not 
You know, I would never say I'm just the God that you should listen to for the rest of your life. I'm like, I'm the Bible. But I have learned some things in God that I'm self-made. No one helped me get to where I was in the point of, like, no one gave me a bunch of money. Uh, no one just said, Wesley, let me just take you under my wing. I didn't have no one like that. Um, oh, dude. <laughs> this is Darren Rowley right here. This is the man right Jay, this guy, man, I can tell you a good story about this guy. So he on old school new body. <laughs> He's hanging out. I think I. This guy right there, you see that guy? He inspired me to be where I am today. You know, I remember when my company was struggling, his company was soaring. And I used to email him and say, man, John, what am I doing wrong? What do you think? He said, Wesley, this is what he told me. And I, man, John, I love you, brother. And he was like, man, John, he said, Wesley. Believe, brother, it's going to happen for you. Have faith. Believe. You know, I know you want to partner with me, but trust me, you can do it on your own. I remember having that conversation. And this is when I was making no money. This is when I was working with Seven Day Fitness. And I'm out there struggling like you, right? But I used to chat with very successful people. I used to email them over and over and over again. Many times they didn't email me back. But, man, I think people like John, man, they saw my heart and they saw my 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 spirit, my tenacity to win. And uh, man, I'm thankful that God much love, John. What's up, your lady? Yo, what's up, Alvin? Alvin, I love your videos, brother. I love them. Keep doing them, bro. Okay, so let's talk about my jail experience, okay? You might say, Wesley, you went to jail? Yeah, I did. Several times. Um, I went to jail, not what you think of, um, a, back, a while back, a couple of years ago, maybe several years ago, um, I used to get warrants. I don't know anybody speed out there or maybe you didn't have your insurance and I didn't have the money so I couldn't do it. I get pulled over for no lights. I get pulled over for no license. I get pulled over for um, no registration. I think my parents remember this most because they used to come pick me up. I remember those phone calls, you know, um, getting stopped, you know, by the police. Anybody have that, that feeling in your stomach sometime and you're like, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. Wow. And um, but it was one particular time that I went to jail, and and that, it probably was the tenth time. You know, I used to go to jail for two days, three days, four days, five. You know, all over Houston. I've probably been in every jail, county jail, city jail in Houston. I swear to God, um, it's because of all these tickets I was getting, man. They were just adding up to the point that. Man, I, and I didn't have any money to pay on him, 2000 3000 It was crazy. And for one particular time, I think I was in Pearland, Texas. And I was sitting, it was two times, I was sitting in the holding room. Um, and they put me by myself. Okay. I was by myself in a little room. No one to talk to. No one to have a conversation with. The only conversation I can have is with myself. And, you know, I, I don't know if you guys ever been like alone by yourself in a room or, <laughs> you know, but it's challenging because, you know, I was in that room for two days by myself. No radio, no TV, no cell phone, no nothing. And I started to entertain myself. I remember singing. I remember working out. You know, I remember having a conversation with myself. I said, Wesley, is this the type of life that you want to live? You know, you're not being responsible. You want to hang out all the time. You're getting tickets. Uh, you're not paying your bills. You're making excuses about all the shit that's going through in your life. You're blaming other people, blaming your family, or blaming your dad about this, or blaming um, people in your life about your situation. It's just going to be your life. And I'm going to be honest with you, I cried. You know, I cried. I did. Um, I started to cry for the first time because it's almost like, and I don't know if you ever felt like this, it's like you just couldn't get your head above water. It's like, man, even though, because, you know, at the time I wanted to be successful, you know, I wanted to do great things. But it's like these tickets and these issues, it was just, it was burying me, right? And I'm thinking like, damn, what the hell? But what I figured out was 
I was creating everything. Like, you know what? Think about it. See, it's so easy to say, you okay, well, maybe you don't have a license right now, but I got to drive. I got to drive. I, you know, I got to drive. So I'm going to drive anyway. I, I think everybody has been, well, not everybody, but I'm pretty sure everybody has did something that maybe we know is wrong, but we do it anyway. We justify in our minds, so well, I got to do it anyway. So I used to drive my car even though my license was suspended. I used to drive my car even though I didn't have any insurance. I said, well, I can't afford insurance right now, but I got to go to work because I got to go make money. So I would justify that shit in my mind. And I think many people are just have you justifying shit that's going on in your life. That's keeping you from the money, from the success, from the glory, from the abundance, man. And I sat there and I cried for five minutes, covered my face. No one can hear me because I was just locked in like one of those prison cells. Boom! You know, those big tight doors. And um, I cried. And I was like, man, never again. I'm going to take responsibility. You know what? It's going to be very difficult for me to live right. I think a lot of people out there um, have a misconception of like living, living, like doing the right thing. Right? And I think it's hard because, you know, we always have a hookup. You know, someone, hey man, you want to hook up on this? You want to hook up on cable? You want to hook up on the TV? You want to hook up, hook up, hook up, hook up? But hookups would destroy you, okay? It would destroy your life. Because a hookup is what it is. It tells you that it's an easy route to get somewhere. And I think that <laughs> that hookup mentality, I think it's the reason why a lot of people would never, ever be successful. And some people say, well, it's just a little thing, Wes. It's not a big deal. It's just, you know, I just, you know, the, gate, the cable guy told me if I paid an extra hundred bucks, he can give it to me free for six months. I mean, it's just a, and see, what you think is so small, it's defining and creating your character as a person. So when I got out of jail that time, I said, you know what? I'm not going to say that I'm never going to do anything wrong. I'm not going to say that I would never make any mistakes, but every day I'm going to make a conscious effort to do the right thing in everything I do. I, I'm going to do my best to be, um, to have integrity. I, I'm doing my best to treat people right. Um, uh, I'm going to abide by the law, even when it seems that I'm not going to um, get caught, like your taxes, you know, trying to cheat on your taxes. and. Try to say, well, I made this money. No, everything I do, I made the decision. I said, I did. I said this like five, six years ago. I said, everything I do, I'm gonna do the right thing. And I think you need to come up with that in your mind. I mean, just, just think. I think it's the hardest thing because it's so easy in this world to get, you know, a little easy shit or go. You know, I've seen people that have been successful, and now they are miserable and poor because they tried to take this easy route to success. They tried to get the hookup. They tried to get the easy opportunity. They tried to do the deal they wasn't really comfortable with. They compromised their decisions. You know what I mean? You know, my dad told me this. He said this. Smart man. Pastor of a church. He says that whatever you do in life, whatever, whether it's wrong and bad, because everything's kind of relative right now, right? It's just good and bad, whatever. As long as you can sleep at night, see, what if you do today? You know, the people that you speak to, the people that you get upset with, the deals that you're doing that no one else knows, the stuff that you're doing behind closed doors that no one else knows that you're doing, if you're able to sleep at night, it's cool. If you're able to sleep like a baby, it's cool. But if you're tossing and turning about some of the things that you're doing that you know is not the right thing, if that you know that you have a gut feeling about. If you know it's certain things that you're getting involved with, you know, you know what, I shouldn't be involved with this person. I should be listening, I should be doing business with this person. I should be going to this place. This is not me. This is not the person that I want to become. You need to think about it. And what I learned from this situation is this. What's up, Carlos, Tony, Kaylee? 
Oh, you guys coming out tonight. What's up, Archie, baby? Hebert, guys, thanks for the shares and likes, too. And I want you to write this down. This is the big, I think it's the hardest thing for an entrepreneur. See, as a millionaire, I understand it now. And I see other millionaires that even still can't do this. Um, I see it. I swear to God, because the only way that I know they can't do it, because I can see the fear when they're speaking about their life, right? Or about their business and stuff like that. Write this down. You cannot be afraid to stand alone. You just can't be afraid. You know, there's even people out there that um, don't agree with what I do. You know, there's a lot of people that are successful that were in my circle and, you know, they're a little bit like, you know, they feel a certain way sometimes. It's okay. Everybody's not going to agree with you. Everybody's not going to just be on your side. You've got to be able to stand alone by yourself. That's what I learned in that jail. Because, see, that, that was those two ways, those 48 hours, not having any contact with the outside world, only dealing with myself, I believe, made me stronger. See, a lot of people can't be by themselves. They got to be hanging with someone. They got some. They got to have a girlfriend. They got to have a boyfriend. They got to have some some friends around. They got to have somebody texting them. They got to have somebody liking their videos, liking their posts. They have to have some interaction with people. It's like they. It's like a need. But people like that, I, I'm not gonna say you're never gonna be successful. It's gonna be very difficult to be successful. And even if you do become successful, you're always gonna worry and think about, man, am I gonna stay successful? Do I need to stay connected to this person to be successful? You know why I see it all the time? I see it in network marketing companies. You know, the people, you know, the companies where you recruit this person, you recruit this person. And I see people under a person who is the leader, and I see people that are very afraid to lead the leadership. They're afraid. Because they feel that that person that inspired them that motivated them, that educated them, that gave them the initial whatever to get to where they are. They feel that they disconnect from them, they're gonna lose it all, right? And to me, that's not true happiness. To me, that's not true success. Because in your mind, you're still wondering, you said, man, I hope everything is gonna go all right. I hope that this guy takes care of business, you know, because we, we're following this guy. I, me? I'll be honest with you, it's a bold statement. I don't follow anyone. No one. I follow the beat of my own fucking drum. I learn from people. I'm inspired from people. I take information from people to build my own philosophy. But see, I am the leader of me. I stand alone. I got to bring the certainty in my mind that all oh, this was possible. When I was dreaming about all this stuff, I had to convince myself, nobody else. I had to continue to tell myself that this was possible when I was in that small little bitty apartment, couldn't even pay my car notes so much. All right? I remember those days, you know, putting my dream all over the wall in my home. Right? Looking, believing, expecting every single day because. I had to be the leader of my own life. You know, a lot of you guys, you're looking at me and you say, you know, Wesley, man, you inspire people, you help me around the world, that's great. And I'm glad you guys are like following me and believing in me and to help me, you know, sometimes I believe you need someone to believe in yourself so your belief will kick in. But man, just look at me as a catalyst. Don't look at me as this person that you just want to just be under for the rest of your life. You gotta be the leader of you. You gotta make your decisions. You gotta say this. Even though Wesley Virgin might say, you know what? That's a dumb idea. That's stupid. That's not smart. You're gonna lose if you do that. You gotta be able to stand up, you know, within yourself and say, you know what? I understand what Wesley said. I take it in account, but man, I believe in it. This is it. This is what I want. This is my passion. I'm gonna do it regardless. See, it takes guts to do that. Most people out there, you're scared to stand alone. You're scared just to make your own decisions. You need somebody out there to orchestrate your life. 
And I'm telling you, even if you make some money, man, in my opinion, you'll never truly control your destiny until you can stand by yourself. Until it doesn't matter that who is talking to you, telling you. I, mean, I was watching a video by the name of, um, what's the guy's name? Uh, Mike Seastrom. He's the guy that owns um, Instagram, uh, you know, billion dollar company. And he said it was people like, um, some famous people, I'm not going to say their name, but billionaires that were telling him, hey man, this is a bad idea with this photo. No one's going to share photos, Mike. No, no one cares about photos. You got Flickr, you got all these other companies that are already doing it. No one cares. And something in him said, it's going to work. Did you know that Mark Cuban, you know Mark Cuban, right? Mark Cuban is the guy that owns Dallas, big billionaire guy. He told the guy that owns Uber, it's not going to work. He said, man, I'm, I'm not going to invest in this. It's not going to work. Today, Uber is a 30, I don't know, plus billion dollar company right now. All I'm saying is that <laughs> even the advice that I give you doesn't necessarily, is right. It could be all subjective. <laughs> you just can't take what even what I say as factual information. It's just my philosophy. It's my theory on life. It's my theory on success. So what I'm giving you today is you got to come up with your steps. You got to use people like me as a catalyst, as a tool, as knowledge of saying, okay, I see what he did. I see what this guy did. I see what this guy did. Okay, now what I want to do. And you got to stand on it. See, what I've noticed, because right now I'm studying billionaires. Right? I don't study millionaires no longer. Because I'm already a millionaire, okay, that's cool. It's time to go to the next level. And what I've noticed about billionaires, <laughs> they stand alone. Elon Musk, the, die, the guy that did all the Teslas, many people said an electric car would never work. No one's going to spend $100,000 on an electric vehicle that doesn't even look luxurious. SpaceX, are you crazy? You're not going to be able to go out in space. No one has did this before. You're not going to be able to do it cheaper. Many people told him that. And guess what? He did it. He did it. What I've learned about billionaires, they're just not afraid to stand by themselves. They're not afraid to have their own beliefs, their own ideas, have passion, and just do it anyway without anybody influencing them um, in another way. See, most of you out there, you're swayed so easy by a conversation, by someone that inspires you, that you lie, you're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you're like, mm, man, he made a lot of sense. I need to do that. Then tomorrow you watch another video. Oh man, he made not sense. I need to do that. Then somebody else tomorrow tells you this emotional story that provokes some emotion, makes you like, damn man, that was amazing. You know what? I need to start doing this. <laughs> so many people are swayed, and this is the reason why 98% of people would never be successful because they're not afraid, because they just won't stand alone. They want to just stay by themselves and just. Talk to themselves, ask themselves questions. Do you understand that everything you need is within you now? All the knowledge, all the tenacity, all the skill, all the fight, all the grit, everything, the passion is already in you. See that problem that you're trying to figure out in life? You know, the success equation or the health equation or even the relationship equa equation, it's already in you. The thing is you need to start talking to yourself. You need to start asking yourself questions. Well, what do I do to do this? And how will this work? See, the thing is, I think most of us don't believe that we're so intelligent. Do you understand that we're just, I mean, we are the most intelligent in, uh, in species in the, on the planet. That you don't need anybody else to tell you how you want to design your life. Does that make sense? See me? Everybody don't want to live like this. Everybody don't want to take exotic vacations around the world. Everybody don't want to go shopping and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, fly first class, be treated like a celebrity, inspire millions of people around the world. Everybody don't want to do that. Live like a king. Everybody don't want to do that. But the question is, what do you want? You got to figure out what do you want for your life and be comfortable. See me? Even though you have people in my life right now or that I know, they think it's silly. They don't agree with me. They think it's a waste of money. But guess what, man? I got a smile on my face 
You gotta follow my Snapchat videos, baby. I am living the dream and I'm happy about it. And I'm happy about myself. You know why? Because I created it. Nothing that you see in my life is by accident or by luck. I wrote it down. I said, this is what I wanted. I don't care about the criticism. I don't care people that may resent me. I don't care about people that may talk about me. But I'm going to live this life. Because I was destined to live this life. And I'll continue to live this life to inspire people like you. To let you know you need to stand alone. You need to learn how to just stand by yourself. Deal with yourself. Ask yourself. That's what I learned in that jail. Because I was forced to deal with myself. I'm not saying you got to go to jail, right, to go through this process. But, man, it was the most um, amazing experience of my life. Because I had to figure out what to do with 24 hours. I couldn't sleep the entire time. But I had this long couple hours conversation with myself. You know, it was like me being a psychologist for myself. Wesley, why are you feeling like this? Wesley, why do you keep doing this? Wesley, why do you keep making these type of decisions? Wesley, why do you keep fooling with these type of people, but you say you want this? Wesley, why are you working these type of jobs? I started to ask myself all the questions. So, guys, that's my stick, guys. Stanley, what's up, Stanley? What's up, Juliana? Man, everybody out there today. Guys, go ahead and ask your questions. This is another Ask a Multi-Million Dollar Session with Wesley Million Dollar Virgin, guys. I mean, we are growing. The brand is growing. Um, we're doing, it's a blessing, it's a blessing, but guys, I work at it, you know, I, I work at it, you know, even see this video here, look at this video here, it's not, I don't have 10,000 people watching this video, but I will, I don't have 50,000 shares, but I will, you gotta see the vision in advance, but yet you gotta do the work and believe, look, I'm on vacation right now, I'm out here, I don't even call it vacation anymore, it's just, just, this is just my life, right, this is life vacation. This is how I live my life. And I could be out there on the beach. Everybody's on the beach having fun, relaxing. But I got a dream, baby. <laughs> I got some big that's about to happen. And I got to do the work. And I love this work. I got I to gotta put in the time. I got to become a better version of me. And how do I do that? By doing something every day. What's up, Kaylee? Every day. Guys, leave your questions. Leave your questions below. Ask me what I'm I think Stanley had a question. Hold on. Stanley Dobbins. Hold on. Ah, let's see here. Can you show us what you do so we can do it? Man, where you been, baby? I've been doing this for a long time. I've been showing you. You need to go through my videos, Stanley. I show exactly what I do as a company-wise, as I do on the internet. Go watch my last sessions about, um, I can't remember the name of it, but I show you step-by-step step what you can do right now with no money. You, you don't have money if you do. To start an internet company, to start an internet business, to start branding yourself, right? Good God, man, where you been? You been asleep? You been sleeping on me, huh? But guys, um, life is good. I mean, life is good, baby. Life is good. Life is good, but see, I stand alone. I don't need to be around people all the time. I like it. You know, when I'm around people, we hang out, we laugh, cool, drink, laugh, tell stories. But sometimes I gotta be by myself. Sometimes I gotta have a conversation with me to say, Wesley, are you on track? What are you doing? What are you not doing? What you need to do? Sometimes I need to slap myself and say, Wesley, record a video. You need to take a picture. You need to post. Whatever. But I'm not afraid to stand alone. I'm not afraid to stand in a box by myself while other people say, no, Wesley, you need to do this. Wesley, you need to be careful about this. Wesley, you need to be... I stand alone, baby. I'm my own leader. You know who my advisor is? Wesley Million Dollar Virgin. I advise myself. You need to be your own advisor. I use other people's experiences, stories to motivate me, to inspire me, to bring me more knowledge, to create my philosophy. Because see, what I'm about to do in this world, on this planet, is going to be, in, un, it's going to be unimaginable. <laughs> the amount of people I'm going to touch is going to be crazy. I'm telling you, Oprah herself, check this out. Oprah Winfrey, good friend of mine, right? She's going to tell me that Wesley will have never seen a person like you in life. 
He said, your level of impact, your level of enthusiasm, your level of integrity, your level of genuineness, we've never seen it like this before. She's going to tell me this. Why are we drinking a glass of Moscato wine? Because I like Moscato. And we're going to toast. And I'm saying thank you, Oprah. Thank you for giving me this platform. All right, question. Hold up. All right, hold on, hold on. Uh, are we having a mastermind? Yeah, so um, I am partnered with this, well, not really partnered, but I'm affiliate for this company, and they do a lot of protein, great company, Bio Trust. And what they do is they sponsor their top affiliates out here, and I got invited to put the can on. So it's kind of a mastermind relaxation. It's just a good way to bounce ideas off of very successful people while swimming, surfing, hanging out in the sand, Looking at this beautiful place in those waves, those oceans, baby. So, um, yeah. But, no, you know, no medias, though. No medias. Just relaxation. Fun. I got to get a massage. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got to get a massage at 2 o'clock. Okay. To see where you are now and how far you came when I knew you. 453rd. 453rd, baby. Fifth platoon, Archie. What's up, Nettles? I wrote you for the month for a chance to test my offer, 100% commission. All right, man. I, dude, I get about 100 emails a day, Daniel. Um, the best thing for you to do, um, you need to, I don't test any offer until it's proven, okay? We have a huge list. I'm going to be transparent with you. I just don't test offers just because you give me 100%, okay? No one's going to do this. No one that's making money. I run my business like a business, so that means I need to make a certain amount of money every single day. So that means you need to test out your offer with your money first, I suggest. Then you come to me and show me numbers, right? You need to have several thousands of clicks before, um, you know, I, even myself will consider testing your stuff. But you need some tests with some smarter list for guys. All right? Any more questions? Any more questions? Man, look at this, guys. I think I'm going to go out to the beach. It's hot out here. It's hot. It's like Houston hot. But it's cool. No, it's hot, but it's cool at the same time. Any more questions, guys? Let me know what you got. I'm going to sign off. I think John Rowling wants me to be quiet. I think he's trying to sleep over there. John, you sleeping in that room in the back? I think he's sleep. I think he's hanging out. I'm about to go to the beach. Maybe I'll do another video. But, you know, I want to serve you. Whatever your questions are. Uh, I made it. <laughs> you, know, I, you know, it's so funny. Last night, I was out here and I was like, thank God I made it. Because so many people won't. Like, God, I made it. Man, because it was a hard journey. It was a hard journey, man. It was hard. Oh, my God. I would never lie to some, I would never lie to you and say it wasn't hard. That shit was hard. Jesus. Seven figures? That first million? Jesus Christ. Hard. And now? Yeah. Easy, baby. Easy. Who in this room? Oh, nobody. Y'all know how to get in this room. Um, thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Samir. Thank you, Jell. Love you. Love you guys as well. Uh, I'll be in back in Houston very soon. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, remember this. I love you all. Um, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Sometimes you got to fight with yourself. You got to fight with your mind. Um, don't give up. You know, keep believing. Uh, one thing is that I give you. It's being enthusiastic, right? You know, smile a little bit. Be happy about what's going on in your life. Even if your life is not going the way that you want, be grateful. Every morning, even though I take my bank account and I look at my money, I want to look at that million. I just like looking at it. And, but I'm always like, I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to the universe. I'm grateful to you. Every morning, I'm always extending. And I let that gratefulness just for, just feel my body, you know, and it's just like, wow, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful that I'm in this situation, I'm so grateful that I am, I'm free, I'm so grateful I can help millions of people around the world, I'm so grateful that I can touch people's lives, I'm so grateful that my kids are doing so well, they're happy, the mother of my children, they're so happy, my parents are so happy, I'm so grateful that this is happening to me, I'm just so thankful, I do it every morning. I do it for about five minutes, and it just overwhelms me sometimes, guys. Let's see. Wesley, you're going to write a book on your success and growth system? I will, very soon. That's probably the next chapter in my life when I turn 40. I'm in my early 30s right now. I'm a young guy. 
So, uh, what's up, Jan? Um, I am already 30, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm living a dream right now, but I'm going to continue to live the dream until I die. Then soon, we'll write a book. Maybe I'll go to Fiji and hang out. Guys, thank you for liking this video. Thank you for sharing this video. Please share it now. Please. Hit the share button. It takes one second. Hit share. That just shows your love for me. It just shows that you that you care a little bit, right, about what I'm doing. Um, you know, don't be a hoarder. Don't be a person that don't want to share it. And don't be a person that, well, I don't want to. Man, let me tell you something. <laughs> um, the people that get ahead in life, even all these 20 people that are here, let me tell you why I love them most. Because they're givers. I swear, I mean, you know, rich people are some of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. I swear to God. They're givers, man. They, they're like, I was having a conversation with a young man yesterday, and he was like, um, you know, millions of dollars, you know, a company. And he was like, Wesley, you know, we ought to create this thing where we give to people sporadically, you know, unknowingly. They don't know who we are, man. Put our money together. We bless people. Because he does it now. He said, man, we bless this one person. They needed fifty thousand dollars, and I think the uh, kid was having problems physically. I can't remember, but cash or something. And they helped them. It was over fifty thousand dollars. They helped them go to this special place. And I'm like, man, look at that. That's that's God. That's powerful, right? That's some powerful stuff. And um, yeah. So guys, be a giver. <laughs> Get, sh share this video out, okay? Start by sharing this video. Out. Show some love. Let me see, what do we have here? It's been a while. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys. I am out of here. Much love. Get fit with passion. Later.